Now, when Jesus Christ died on the cross, he didn't die by accident. He died by design. It was planned by God for your redemption and your salvation. When Billy Graham arrived to preach in London in 1966, not everyone welcomed his message. The press were gunning for him with a vengeance. They accused him of using gimmicks and tricks to stir the crowd. God loves every one of you. God thinks you're important enough that he sent his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for you. Have you plans to engage in public debate while you're here? Or is it going to be what I think people often do suggest about evangelists, that it very often involves talking at people rather than with them? The, the gospel message is a proclamation. I don't have to convince people. The big thing is the work of the Spirit of God in their hearts. Does this mean that your appeal is to the emotion rather than the intellect? I think the gospel appeals to the total man. And I think that the greatest need that people have for fulfillment is a true encounter with Christ. It was very important that Billy Graham never allowed the criticisms to overshadow his message. It's the gospel that has the impact, not me. I think the mistake is that people look to me and expect me to accomplish something. I'm only a messenger to proclaim a message that I believe has within it the power to change lives. For weeks before the first service ever took place, the press pointed to the invitation hymn, Just As I Am, as a gimmick, even propaganda. The charge greatly concerned Billy Graham. Billy called me one day and he said, Cliff, we know that it's not the emotion of the song, it's the moving of the Spirit of God in answer to the prayers of God's people. Let's be prepared not to sing just as I am. How many of you here tonight are searching for a purpose and a reason for your existence? You don't know where you came from. You don't know why you're here. You don't know where you're going. And there's an emptiness down inside of you. He died on the cross. He was made to be sin for us. And on that cross, he took the hand of God with one of his hands and your hand with the other, and he reconciles God and man. God well, he gave the invitation and he said, we're not going to have any music tonight. I'm going to ask you to get up out of your seat and come and stand right here in front. Then he stepped back. He folded his arms and he bowed his head in prayer. For the first time in any crusade invitation, the choir, piano, and organ were silent. For 30 nights, we didn't have one note of Just As I Am. There was no need for hype, gimmicks, or techniques. Oh God, I am a sinner. It's the preaching of the cross in the power of the Spirit that explains the true secret of evangelism, and Billy Graham understood that. In Christ's name, amen. My father was called by God to be an evangelist, and so my father preached the gospel and he gave it over and over and over again in every message. And people understood. I never thought I would become friends with people in different countries all over the world. I never dreamed that this great stadium would be filled on the opening night. To the massive audiences around the world, Billy Graham's preaching seemed effortless. But it didn't come without hardships. A lot of times I would go down this driveway here with tears in my eyes. I didn't want to go. Despite all his early experience, Billy Graham still got nervous before preaching. I always get tense, and many times I have moisture in the palms of my hands. There's a burden there, and there's a weight there, and there's an anxiety there. I feel inadequate. It is a fearful thing to stand up and preach the gospel before a crowd that you're going to have to give an account of 
at the judgment seat of Christ. You come to Jesus Christ. It's a big strain to me. Oftentimes we could feel the powers of the enemy. There's a great spiritual battle when the gospel is being preached. Souls are at stake. Eternity is at stake. He would call us to prayer. Oftentimes he'd say, pray earnestly tonight. It's the vision that I think I have almost every night of lost people. People that are going to go out into eternity lost from God. When I stand before God, I do not want justice. If I get justice, I'm lost. I want mercy. I want forgiveness. And that's what God offers me from the cross. There is no other way of salvation except through the cross of Christ. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. The only way to the Father, Father God, is through His Son, Jesus Christ. When you come to Him, you're clothed in His righteousness. God no longer sees your sin. He no longer sees your own heart. He sees Jesus. Jesus.